Welcome to the Salish Community College 2023 graduation. Please welcome Salish Community College administration. Leading administration. Leading administration, Dr. Sandra Boham, president. Dr. Michael Munson, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Ms. Audrey Plouffe, Vice President of Business Affairs. Dr. Anthony Berthelot, Vice President of Enrollment Management and Student Affairs. Mr. Al Anderson, Chief Information Officer. And Vanessa Sandoval, Director of Human Resources. Please welcome the Salish Kootenai College faculty. And leading our graduates, Mike Kenmill and Linda King, followed by our 2023 Salish Kootenai College graduates. Right behind our dancers, leading all of the graduates this year, is Salish Kootenai College's first graduates in our master's program.
We'd like to thank the Yaman Suit Drum Group for singing our graduates in. Please stay standing while we have our invocation by Nadia Adams, who is a Salish language apprentice student. Nadia Adams, Louis West, U Suchi Apadet, Lu and Cadius West, Marquis Ask and Louis Scaldemich, Chinch Eat Stumps Delt, Il Andi U Pasca Adams, U Cheat Michel, Il in Kenne, U in Hepe, Myrna and Greg Dumontier, U now Sheet de Michel, Il in Yaya, Il in Sile, Lolita and Drew Hendrickson. Chentupia il Nadine u Louis Adams u Ani u Pablo Espinoza Chen Swatzil Kainin il Nadlich Welshin Ketwa es mi stan in inclusums as lem suti quil quaya u ets he inclusums as lem suti quil pesia Kies chuchawam yeshwa hex chawi Pullen Sutin, Yeshua Chinas and PLC, Chinas Lempty Quilia, Uims, Pressing Cuscatio, Lewis your Nunums, Tils Til your Nuntin, Chinas Chowi, Nepres Hum Craney, Unem as in PLC, Il Esiat, Lewis, Pullen Sutin, Umi Chu Chaupeta in Esia, we were youth, now Castudia is there with. Colin Sutton, Mikhail Shield, Luke Hats Quil Wheel, Pesio Yoti, Quil Fabak. For me, ask Chu Jaupede, Pesia, ask the wet, it does from from pain. Who was his hussy? For me, Chu Jaupede and Esia are in Quin Kusum, who are to see wit, who now see as ten essay. Ask a secret. Colin Sutton. In Kut in Quinelsim, Heslam Lamti, Lesia, Hespur Pus, Omeyats Hai, Lamnam Spesia. Hello and good day, good day, everyone. My name is Nadia Adams, and my Indian name is the one who demands respect and imposes fear. My man is Marquis Askin, and I am the firstborn daughter of Andi and Pascal Adams. I am the firstborn granddaughter of Myrna and Greg Dumont here. And Lolita and Drew Hendrickson. I am the great granddaughter of Nadine Espinoza. <laughs> Nadine Adams and Louis Adams and Annie and Pablo Espinoza. I am a Salish language learner and today I know I have made my family proud just as, as you have all made your families proud. Today it is my job to pray for you, so let us pray. Creator, today I am so thankful and so happy for our fellow graduates. I pray for their safety in everything they do. Creator, bless the animals, the land, and the water. Creator, help our, fe our futures to be strong and bright. Bless all the footsteps that you take in your future to come safe and healthy. Bless all of your families, your children, and your future children. Creator, put kindness and thankfulness into each of our hearts. Thank you. Please be seated. Please welcome to the stage Mr. Jim Durgalo, SKC Board of Directors Chairman. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to 
the Salish Kootenai College campus and the graduation and celebration of our graduates for 2023. You're, uh, from up here, you're a very beautiful people, and uh, I appreciate uh, you spending your time with us on campus. Lem Lemch, Yam and Suit for a beautiful song bringing in our students. Lem Lemch, Nadia for your beautiful blessing this morning. On behalf of the Board of Directors for Salish Kootenai College, Jermaine White, Rhonda Howlett, Jamie Corville, Felicia Paul, Jamie Cahoon, and our head lady dancer, Linda King, we welcome you to the homelands of the Salish, Kelispe, and Kasanka people. Countless generations of your ancestors smile upon you and your families on this beautiful morning. We welcome you and your families to the SKC campus and to our beautiful community. Congratulations to our graduates. This is a special time for you, your families, and your communities. We are proud of you for the work and dedication that you have put in to your education here at SKC. We look forward to seeing you succeed in fulfilling your dreams of your ancestors. We thank you for choosing Salish Kootenai College and becoming a member of our family. We wish you good luck, happiness, and good fortune as you continue to grow in your professional lives. Please welcome Dr. Sandra Boham, Salish Kootenai College President. I need a steppy box to stand on. Welcome. What a momentous day we are having. What a glorious day for all of us to be together to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates here in front of us today. We've been celebrating for two days now, but we're probably going to celebrate a lot longer than that. Every student that comes here leaves a piece of themselves with us. And we hope that you take a piece of us when you go. These students have worked very hard for this accomplishment. It's not easy. We have incredible faculty that support them. Faculty, could you just stand up for a second? Come on. Thank you. We also know that there are an amazing number of staff people that are behind you as well. Most of them are involved in helping right now with the technical parts of the graduation. But know they're here and they're very important people. We also know that your families play a critical role in your success here. They're the ones that help you. They're the ones that can say to you the things that you need to hear only from your family. They're the ones who tell you, remember why you started this journey. Remember the children that are watching you. They will watch how you navigate these challenges. Will you show them how to be resilient? That doesn't mean there won't be times when you say, I don't know if I can do it. And sometimes a few of you have stopped for a couple of months and then come back. The key is you came back. The key is you stuck with it. The key is you finished. But you didn't really finish. This is just the next chapter for whatever it is that comes next. We are graduating our very first ever graduate students this year.
We also are graduating our bachelor degree students, our associate degree students, our one-year certificate students, and we're acknowledging our workforce students. In about two weeks, we will also be acknowledging our first ever, it'll be the first time we've ever had a graduation for our students who are completing their high set, or what would be called the GED. And we're very proud of their accomplishments as well. So I'm proud of you. Your families are proud of you. I know you have a lot to contribute, but you didn't come here today to listen to me. So I'm going to end because our next speaker is someone I know you're going to want to hear. So thank you to everyone. Thank you to the students that are sitting here before us. Thank you for letting us be part of your journey. To introduce our commencement address speaker, please welcome back President Boham. I didn't read my instructions very well. Our speaker today is Dr. Carrie Billy. Dr. Carrie Billy is an alum of SKC. She is also, um, she holds a law degree. She worked in the Clinton White House. She is the executive director of the American Indian Higher Education Consortium. She is in Washington, D.C., fighting every single day to make sure that our schools have the resources and connections we need to serve you. So I could say a lot about Dr. Billy. I want you to know that this year is the 50th anniversary of the American Indian Higher Education Consortium. We call it AHEC. Some of you are familiar with AHEC because you've been to the student um, conferences that have been held every year. It was formed as a consortium of all the tribal colleges to work together, which is amazing when you think about it. We decided we would work together. And so I am gonna let Dr. Carrie Billy come and speak to you. We are so proud to have people like her as an advocate for tribal colleges, and we're particularly proud to claim her as one of our own. So please welcome Dr. Carrie Billy. My family's roots are in Low Mountain on the Denata, and I grew up on the Navajo Reservation and the White Mountain Apache Reservation in Arizona. And being, if you've ever been to either one of those places, being here reminds me a lot of being home. There is power in these mountains and the water around us, and it gives us strength. So thank you so much for inviting me to be here today. Thank you, President Boham, the Salish Kootenai College Board of Directors, and graduates for inviting me to be here. I always feel like I'm coming home, being here on this land, especially on this day, this special occasion for you. I also want to quickly thank all the veterans who were here, who served, marched, and sacrificed for our sacred lands and for the United States, and all the parents and grandparents who are here, 
It is on the shoulders of your parents, grandparents, and the veterans that you all stand today. So thank you all for everything that you've done for all of us. I also just want to acknowledge all the little children here in the room playing on their moms and dads' cell phones or whatever else they're doing here. Um, so if you're a, you're a child, I want you to stand up. If you're a child, a brother or sister or grandparent of a graduate, would you stand up? Put your phones down, stand up for a second. Okay, graduates, I want you really quickly just to stand up and look at all these children in the room and let them see you. They can only see the backs of your heads or the sides now, so stand up and look around. They are all so proud of you. And in your eyes, every one of these children sees the reflection of their future self. As President Boham said, you are their role models. And what an accomplished, amazing, beautiful, great-looking group of role models you are, the Salish Kootenai College graduating class of 2023. I think every year the graduating classes get fancier and better looking. Amazing. Anyway, you are, as President Boham said, a very special class. You are one of the most special for a couple of reasons. First, we are celebrating the first master's degree graduates at SKC in education, so congratulations for all of your hard work. Okay, yeah, education and natural resources masters. Who is the master's person who I almost left out? Someone here? Anyway. Anyway. All of you, you master's degree graduates especially, wow, and congratulations. It is a tremendous achievement for you and for this college. You are already making history. That's incredible. But second, as President Boham said, this graduating class is especially special to me and all of us involved in the tribal college movement because you are graduating from a tribal college in the 50th year of the American Indian Higher Education Consortium. This is this year we are celebrating 50 years of tribal higher education. Yeah, we, can for that. we should all be proud of that. It's our education. Let's be proud of it. So you all know the saying, you've heard it before, you are your ancestors' wildest dreams, right? That's true. Well, you, each one of you, the Salish Kootenai College graduating class of 2023, you are the wildest dreams of the visionary leaders who founded the tribal college movement. You are the past, present, and future of their dreams. You are the second circle of the tribal college movement. The leaders of the first six tribal colleges came together to create AHUC in 1973 with no money, teaching in classrooms that were basements and abandoned buildings, but teaching from our own culture and language and traditional knowledge, guided by the drum, land, and our sacred stories. They had a dream. They had ceremony and they had their prayers, and that was all they needed. Tribal colleges were born in, ceremony, in the ceremony of our founders' songs and the prayers they learned from the Holy Ones. AHEC was born in ceremony and prayer of the first six tribal colleges. Salish Kootenai College was born in the ceremony and prayers of your people, rising from these mountains around us, waters and fire. Each one of you today is living within that same circle of ceremony and prayer, prayers of faith and power faith in the power of higher education rising from within us, from our own culture and languages, from the air, land, water, whatever is sacred to us, this is the essence of the tribal college movement. It's what makes tribal colleges and learning at tribal colleges unique 
and the tribal college experience uniquely successful. So as I said earlier, be proud to be a tribal college graduate. I hope you are all crazy wild proud that you're tribal college graduates and be proud to be part of the tribal college movement. And as President Boham said, your tribal college experience is not ending today. Sorry to tell you this, but it's just commencing. That's what commencement means, right? Just starting. So today, through your accomplishments, you are leading all of us, all those children, forward into the second circle of the tribal college movement, the next 50 years and beyond. It's your resilience, determination, and passion that will guide us forward. So when you leave this building today and commence on your next new adventure, what are your prayers and dreams for the next 50 years? Over the past 50 years, we in the tribal college movement have had some amazing accomplishments. The Tribally Controlled College and Universities Assistance Act was enacted uh, and originally opposed by both people in Congress and the administration, yet it was enacted. Tribal colleges are now on our 1994 land-grant institutions. AHEC created the American Indian College Fund to provide scholarship funding for many of you. We have accredited bachelor's, associate, master's degree programs now and even the first PhD program at a tribal college. We've accomplished all of this and so much more. I could go on, but I won't. But you are the generation to envision and build new tribal colleges and a new Indian country that's of sustainable, strong, sovereign nations. You are the generation that can and will solve the challenges we face as tribal people and even challenges facing the world. You are the generation that will save our languages. You are the generation that will create new stories, new foods, new songs, new knowledge founded on our traditional knowledge and ways of being. You have that power. After all, you are our founders' wildest dreams. Their prayers, songs, and stories give you strength. And there is tremendous power in tribal higher education. I can feel it here in this room. I could see it when you marched in, guided by the drum. I could see pride, resilience, strength, and dreams. So congratulations on what you've achieved. As President Boham said, staying focused on your education and completing a degree, especially during a pandemic, uh, is an accomplishment that no one can ever take away from you. It is yours for the rest of your life. And that degree ties you to this college just like the drum ties us to the earth. It is a tremendous gift. In fact, just having the opportunity to earn a tribal college degree is a huge gift. It's a gift to you from the Salish and Kootenai tribes. Less than 50 of the 574 federally recognized Indian tribes have done that, have established their own tribal colleges. The Salish and Kootenai tribes did that. And aren't you glad they did? I am. So the men and the women who conceived and nurtured the ideas of the first tribal colleges, who conceived and built SKC, they've done their work. Now it's your turn to commence on your next great adventure. So what are you gonna do? How are you going to do it? What new goal commences today with you? What unique gift do you have? What unique gift will you find? You might not need my help, but I would like to share a little advice and tell you a little bit about what I've learned on my journey through not one, but three college degrees. I've done the college th thing three times, and I gotta tell you, each time it gets a better, it gets a little more fun and more supportive. So don't ever be afraid to come back and do a little more learning. And so in addition to my college degrees, I've also had some great jobs and opportunities. 
I've met and learned from some amazing people, as well as some very challenging and obnoxious people. I've made mistakes. I've had successes. So I might know a thing or two that might be helpful to you. Maybe I don't, but you're trapped here, so you got to listen to me. Seriously, though, and more important, whether you need my advice or not, I need you. Native people, all Native people need you. The truth is the future of us, our future as Native people depends on each one of you. The opportunities and successes, successes of our generations to come are in your hands and in your hearts because you at this moment are our present and our future. Earlier I said I was proud of the successes you've achieved at SKC. I am really proud and I hope you completed what you came here for, but I want and need more from you. I want you to rebuild our tribal nations into strong, sovereign nations through excellence in your tribal higher education. So this morning, or maybe it's afternoon now, I'm gonna give you a little advice uh, that I hope will help you on your journey to rebuild Native America. So first, I've always had the, I've always had the ability to envision what I wanted to achieve, to paint a picture in my mind and see it there any time I needed it. If I can't visualize what I want to achieve, I don't think I would have the drive or the ability to do it, to make it happen, or to figure out all of the complexities involved. There would just be so many obstacles, challenges, and people getting in my way. But a picture in my mind can be as clear as I make it. It will still be there when I fall, when I get tired, when my car won't start, or when I spent my last $40 on something that I didn't really need. And even one little step forward toward that picture is a step closer to making that vision real. It's progress. So my first secret for success, or my advice, is to get to your end, to your goal, it helps to close your eyes and dream. Create a vision for where you want to be. Close your eyes and paint that picture in your mind and your heart. Think about what you want to change, your unique gifts from your ancestors, what you're passionate about, and then just imagine it. Imagine it fully realized. That's all that visualizing a goal is. It's very easy. So I ask again, what is your big idea? What is your vision as you graduate? Graduate. Just imagine what it will look like when you have accomplished it. Okay, that's the really easy one. That's the easy thing. My advice number one, close your eyes, paint a picture of your vision in your mind. Now that you've got a picture, you must work really hard and long to make that vision real. So prepare yourself. Take care of yourself. Gather your friends. Ask for help. Find people who share your passion, who will lift you up and sustain you, like you will sustain them on your journey. In my job in the Senate and at a law firm and then with the administration, I learned a lot of things. But one of the key lessons that I learned was to be a leader with a vision, you have to work longer and harder than anyone else, sometimes for years. I couldn't give up when it got tough or it got boring or it got long. It's not easy, but if you care about the land, air, and water, all that makes us holy, which I believe you do because you're at a tribal college, you don't have any other choice. So that's it, number two on my list of advice, work hard and be persistent. It's not rocket science, but it's what it takes. Don't bother wasting your time on waiting for life to get easier. It hasn't happened for me yet. I'm a little disappointed in that, 
but life is tough, and sometimes life sucks, big time, like a pandemic proportions. And of course, sometimes you're going to fail. Try not to dwell on that. That's my advice number three. Don't dwell on your failures. I'm not going to say learn from them, learn from your failures. You can figure that out. I'm just going to say don't dwell on those failures because it's not what stops you, but what propels you up the mountain that defines you. Anyway, it's also another reason to have a vision. With a vision in your mind and your heart, you can see past all those failures and roadblocks. You can be in charge, which is critically important because our lives and our future are our own responsibility. No one's gonna do it for us. But the really cool thing is that is exactly why our grandparents and leaders created tribal colleges. Your tribal college education and the openness to change that education brings gives you tremendous power to overcome any challenge. Navajos express the importance of our own education through the words of one of our great chiefs, Chief Manuelito. He said, my grandchild, education is the ladder. Tell our people to take it. I've come to realize that all Native people have a way of saying essentially the same thing. It's part of that web that encircles us, that weaves us together. And through tribal, tribal education, through the tribal college movement, we are woven stronger into a circle that grows stronger and stronger every day. And from that circle, we can succeed. Navajo Chief Manuelito said, education is the ladder. Tell our people to take it. Chief Wilma Mankiller of the Cherokee said, whoever controls the education of our children controls our future. Think about that. Whoever controls the education of our future, of our children, controls our future. She said that many decades ago. I really love that quote because she was talking about us. She was envisioning tribal colleges, an amazing system of master's and Ph. degree granting colleges controlled by our own people way before it happened. That is so cool. And really, it just validates everything I said a few minutes ago about visualizing and visioning. So just FYI. But it's that kind of bold, visionary leadership that was so helpful to me when I was growing up. I grew up, like many of you, res girl, res town, res dogs, family with all the typical problems that too many of our families have, and never once a teacher who looked like me. Hmm. Maybe I should have made a movie or a streaming series, video series about that, about my res girl life and my res town and res dogs. But I didn't. That wasn't my gift, but I'm glad it was someone else's. But I did have grandparents, aunts, and uncles who never had the need to speak any language other than Navajo, whose lives were rich despite not having running water or electricity, rich and full and defined by our songs, prayers, and the land that lies between the four sacred mountains. Eventually, I moved off the reservation. I went to law school, and I, as I mentioned earlier, I worked in the Senate for a number of years, and it was during that time that I met and visited a lot of uh, Indian people and communities. And I heard the stories of my childhood over and over, poverty, the need for economic development, alcoholism, broken governments, racism, oppression. And I knew there had to be a way up and up up the ladder to a new and better world for our people. So for me, the answer was found in tribal colleges, in our own education systems. So when I was working in the Senate a long time ago, I came to believe, as I still do, that the real hope for American Indians, especially reservation Indians, lies in tribal colleges, in the power of place-based, nation-focused education that's founded on our cultures, our spirituality, our stories, and our songs that draw strength from the mountains and water around us. 
So I've worked for tribal colleges ever since, creating new federal programs, working to change policies, doing all I can to strengthen tribal colleges so that all of you can focus on building and sustaining generations of our people. So my next bit of advice is just to be committed to something. Find your passion, your unique gift. It will give your life purpose, and it will show you your path. So in short, dream, find your passion, then work really hard and with purpose and beauty. Hoso. It's a kind of grace. Grace, beauty, balance, hoso. That's what we all need. It's being thankful for the opportunity to be alive, to have the opportunity to serve. Grace is essential to keeping your life in balance, to finding your identity, your path, your beauty, your hoso. It's getting up in the morning, praying with co corn pollen or however you do that, hearing the drumbeat of the earth and walking that path, sharing gratitude with others so that they will help you live in harmony. And you can start simply by just being nice letting go of hate because hate truly is too heavy a burden to bear so just trust me grace is essential to living in balance in beauty it is essential to achieving the right kind of success and more practically you just never know who you might need to rely on to help you cinch that great job or sell that thousand dollar beaded purse you just spent a month working on so just be nice to people. Be nice even if you don't like that grade you ended up with in the class that you didn't want to take anyway. Every good job I ever had was I got because someone else, someone more experienced, more successful, often more mainstream or white, went out of his or her way to advocate for me. Sure, I'm very talented. I'm sure you're very talented. But there are a lot of talented people out there in the world. You just never know when you might need someone on your side. So be nice, live in beauty, and smile. So as you commence on your new journey and walk into the beauty of the second circle of the Tribal College Movement, remember this, you never walk alone. You walk with the spirit of the tribal college movement and the prayers of everyone who was ever part of the tribal colleges, 50 years strong. The women and men who dreamed of tribal colleges, the men and women who built them, who prayed for their success and offered tobacco during hard times. You walk with their prayers today. Their words soar in the wind and into our hearts. My grandchild, education is the ladder tell our people to take it. You did that. Now you have to go out and change the world. So I'm finished, but I'm going to sum it up because I know some of you were not looking, not listening. I can see you with your eyes closed right there with the North Star on your mortarboard. So I'm going to sum up your, I'm going to sum up what I said and guess what? I can sum it up in three words. Aren't you guys mad that I just said all that stuff? I can sum up my whole speech in three words. And I want you to help me do it. So shout out these words. The first word to sum up my speech, I bet you can guess it, dream. So when I say the word, then you say it, dream. Say it like you mean it, dream, dream. Close your eyes and see the path. Visualize the wor world you seek. Second word, do, do. Work hard and to make it real. You can do it. You have the strength of your heritage and the power of tribal higher education. Last word, grace. 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 Whatever you do, do it with grace. Beauty awaits you. Ahead. Thank you.
to present the 2022-23 Student of the Year. Please welcome Dr. Anthony Berthelot, Vice President of Enrollment Management and Student Affairs. Can I please ask Mr. Dominic LaForge to come to the stage, please? So it's uh, my great privilege to introduce Dominic LaForge, an enrolled Navajo and Crow descendant from the Eastern Montana and our 2022-23 Student of the Year. He is graduating with an Associates in Tribal Historic Preservation today with a 3.9 GPA. He is a father of a precocious three-year-old named Nico and a few weeks ago became engaged to Michaela Jefferson. He has coached... <laughs> He has coached a youth traveling high school basketball team and played basketball for SKC since he transferred here in 2021. He was recently selected to the AHEC All-Tournament team after he and his fellow SKC teammates placed fourth at AHEC. Dom enjoys staying physical, working out, traveling, and just taking a drive almost anywhere or chilling with his family. He has been interning at Nine Pipes Museum since last quarter, and this summer he will intern with the DC organization called the Advisory Council on Historic Preservation, where he will be working with his, with the Office of Native American Affairs focusing on law and policy. Dom's goal is to enter law school at the University of Montana after he finishes his bachelor's next fall. Please welcome Dom. I'd like to start by thanking SKC for this award. Vice President Tony Berthelot for the introduction and President Boham for her support. I'm grateful to be speaking to everyone in attendance today and online and honored to be up here before my peers. To my fiance, Michaela, and our son, Nico, Achieving an award as prestigious as this does not happen without you by my side. The late nights studying together, the constant reminders to turn in our work, and reminding us of why we are here, our son. My parents, Daniel and Sylvia LaForge, my aunts, uncles, and grandparents, Thank you for always keeping me in your prayers. To my uncles, Les Left Hand, and the late Dr. Luke Enemy Hunter, I just want to say I was listening whenever you spoke to me. I had a rough start into this thing called life, but I always fell back on your words. As my late uncle Luke would always say to me and my cousins, if it was easy, everyone would do it as he wanted me and all my cousins to further our education after high school. It was not easy. It took years and years of perseverance to be in this position I am in today. And for that, I am thankful. When I was first notified, I was selected as SKC Student of the Year. I really thought it was a joke. Not only was I unaware I was being considered, but to be selected, it was too good to be true. Growing up, I was taught my words are sacred. I was taught to not only pray to give thanks, but to pray for what you want in life. Upon returning to school to finish my undergrad, I put it out into the world that I was going to try my best. I'm going to put my best foot forward and live with the results, whatever they may be. I did not say, I want to be student of the year. I said to creator, I want to learn. I want to try. I want to help my community. And 
I want to create a good life for my family. I did not realize these words would come true while attending SKC. I've had the privilege of meeting new friends and reconnecting with old friends. And I've interned for groups I never thought I would be considered for. My life has improved since arriving. To President Dr. Boham, SKC faculty and staff, thank you. I am a product of my environment, and you all have made an environment for my peers and I to not only thrive, but find ourselves and prepare ourselves for our futures. Thank you. Janine Lichtenberg, please come to the stage. It's my honor to introduce Janine Lichtenberg, who is our 2022-2023 Faculty of the Year. gave her an opportunity to speak the other night, and so she did that fluently. Just believe me, it was great. Please welcome Mr. Jim Durglow, Salish Community College Board of Directors Chair, to present the honorary degrees. I hope, again, every year, it is with great honor that the Board of Directors for Salish Kootenai College get to recognize some very special people in our community. We, we offer two awards and two recognitions. One is the honorary degree. Uh, the Salish Kootenai College uh, Honorary Degree Award this year was giving, given to Nicholas Left Hand. And I don't think he's joining us today, but if you know Nick, he's a very valued member of our Kootenai community. So if you next time you see Nick, uh, give him a big hug for all of us. Uh, just a little bit about the Honorary Degree Award. Uh, Salish Kootenai College annually awards honor honorary degrees primarily to tribal elders to acknowledge contributions to tribal education. This degree is the highest honor that Salish Kootenai College may confer upon an individual. This degree exemplifies people who have contributed to the educational fulfillment of the tribe. It is intended to recognize significant contributions to the tribes in the areas of culture, history, and quality of, uh, quality of life here on the reservation. And I do have a... Uh, some background on Nick, and we won't go through that this morning, but uh, again, if you see Nick, give him a big hug from all of us. Special recognition. The other, the, the other acknowledgement that we offered this year is the Distinguished Service Award, and it is with great honor to recognize our good friend, Johnny R. Lee, as our 2023 recipient. And Johnny is here today. So everybody get in the line and go hug Johnny for all of us. Just kidding.
Thank you all very much. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the presentation and awarding of diplomas to the Salish Kootenai College Class of 2023. We'll have Dr. Elaine Fink, Dean of Graduate Divisions, Dr. Michael Munson, Vice President of Academic Affairs, and Dr. Anthony Berthelot, Vice President for Enrollment Management and Student Affairs. Our first graduate, Brian Hoganson, Master of Science in Natural Resource Management. <laughs> Stephen Florenzio Arca, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. Shauna Irv Berthelot, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. <laughs> Naomi Billadu, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. Dana Catherine Bremner, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. <laughs> Shannon Coffin, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. <laughs> Sunny Dakota, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. Stephanie A. Fisher, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. <laughs> Jennifer Heavy Runner, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. Tommy Heavy Runner, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. <laughs> Cheryl Madman, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. <laughs> Chase Navarez, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. Brianna Christine Peterson, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. <laughs> Brenda J. Ritchie, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. Veronica Willetto de Crane, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. <laughs> Amy Renee Williams, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction. Sierra Jeppesen, Bachelor of Science, 
native language teacher education. Christina Mays, Bachelor of Science, Native Language Teacher Education. Nadia S. Adams, Associate of Science, Native Language Teacher Education. Jeanette Jan Gardepi, Associate of Science, Native Language Teacher Education. Lydia McKinney, Associate of Science, Native Language Teacher Education. Okay. Go. Alfred Woodcock, Certificate of Completion, Intensive Salish Language. Joelle L. Big Sam. Keenan, Associate of Arts, Tribal Governance and Administration. Tucker Allen Corville, Associate of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation. Julie Jeffers, Associate of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation. Dominique LaForge, Associate of Science, Tribal Historic Preservation. <laughs> Danae Warriors Pistol Bullet, Associate of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation. Misty Lee Doss, Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration. Joshua Dean Bogus, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Dana Lynn Comes at Night, Associate of Arts, Business Management, Associate of Arts, Grants, Projects, Management. Tara Hummingbird Jewel, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Nevea Renee Little Mary, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Rhonda Lozo, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Angela Lozo, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Madison Martinez, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Mary Rose Morjo, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Donette LaRose Swank, Associate of Arts, Business Management. James Green, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Camus McClure, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, P3. Madalena Alicia Grace Clough, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. <laughs> Suli R. DeRoche, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Adam Thies, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education.
Heidi Dane Wilson, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Jade Danielle Dempsey, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Emma Jo Scott, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Brittany Lace Fisher, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Shonda Sorrell, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Nijoni Harvey, Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Forest Management. Jennifer LeCount, Associate of Science, Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Forest Management. Omar Hara Lopez, Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Forest Management. Jared Swan, Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Forest Management. Rachel Tom, Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Forest Management. Sarai Runs Behind Medicine, Associate of Science, Forestry, Forest Management. Lucas Sequoia Vanderberg, Associate of Science, Forestry, Forest Management. Marty J. Wallace, Sr., Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Wildland Fire. Fidencio R. Balderas, Associate of Science, Forestry, Wildland Fire. <laughs> Leslie Ann Brownrigg, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Aquatic Resources. Erin Christine Bell. Bachelor of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Logan Lee Williams, Bachelor of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Traylin Rose Kennerly, Associate of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Samantha L. McNair, Associate of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Morgan Rain Sellers, Associate of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Joni K. Tobacco, Bachelor of Science, Hydrology. Scott R. Olinger, Associate of Science, Hydrology. Darcy Egan, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Sierra Faith Trotter, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Mariah Sheff, Associates of Arts, Psychology.
Courtney Ellenwood, Associates of Arts, Psychology. Jonna Hoskinson, Associates of Arts, Psychology. Anjali Siri Moran, Associates of Arts, Psychology. Thomas Preston, Associates of Arts, Psychology. Mary Jo Sandberg, Associates of Arts, Psychology. Alicia Michelle Shorty, Associates of Arts, Psychology. Amber Ham, Bachelors of Science, Life Science, Cellular Biology. Spencer Lloyd Dawson, Bachelors of Science, Life Sciences, Environmental Health. Gretchen Joan Fisher, Bachelors of Science, Nursing. Jodana Renee So, Bachelors of Science, Nursing. Rayana Fenner, Associates of Science, General Sciences. <laughs> Natasha Gravel, Associate of Science, General Sciences. <laughs> Casey Lammers, Associate of Science, General Sciences. Haley Brianna Nicole Talmadge, Associate of Science, General Science. <laughs> Melanie Natasha Ray Upham, Associate of Science, General Sciences. <laughs> Teresa Marilyn Brendable, Associate of Arts, Health Promotion Practices. Sarah Rose Parisian, Associate of Arts, Health Promotion Practices. Janita Telawaima, Associates of Arts, Health Promotion Practices. Angela C. Evans, Bachelors of Social Work. Donna Sophia Richard, Bachelors of Social Work. Morningstar Roberts, Bachelors of Social Work. JD Lynn Weatherwax, Bachelors of Social Work. Suzanne Elizabeth Doney, Associates of Arts, Chemical Dependency Counseling. Josephine Nicole Drennan Beck, Associates of Arts, Chemical Dependency Counseling. Nicole Faust LeCount, Associates of Arts, Chemical Dependency Counseling. Alan Guber McClure, Associates of Arts, Chemical Dependency Counseling. Megan Rennick, Associates of Arts, Chemical Dependency Counseling.
Nicholas Christopher Grant, Associates of Arts, Digital Design Technology. Robin K. Iron, Associates of Arts, Digital Design Technology. Shannon Salisbury DePoe, Associates of Arts, Digital Design Technology. Desmond J. Singer, Associates of Arts, Digital Design Technology. Jora Thompson, Associates of Arts, Digital Design Technology. Devin Cordier, Associates of Arts, Fine Arts. Twilin Lopez de Victoria Cayay, Associates of Arts, Fine Arts. Gabriel A. Cayay, Associates of Arts, Liberal Arts. Mayana Adrian, Certificate of Completion, Medical Assistant. Danielle Pierre, Certificate of Completion, Medical Assistant. Sienna Rose Big Crane, Certificate of Completion, Emergency Services, Emergency Health Studies. Wiley Kuntz, Certificate of Completion, Emergency Services, Emergency Health Studies. Elise Aaron Mendoza, Certificate of Completion, Medical Office Professionals. Crystal Orman, Certificate of Completion, Medical Office Professional. Amy Devereaux, Associates of Arts, Grants Project Management. Kara J. Gardapi, Certificate of Completion, Dental Assistant Technology. Paris Jade Vale, Certificate of Completion, Dental Assistant, Assisting Technology. Hanson Victorio Kazi, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction. Freddy Martinez, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction. Madison M. Miller, Certificate of Completion, Medical Office Professional.
graduating class of 2022-23, please stand. President Boham, I certify to you and the Salish Kootenai College Board of Directors that these candidates for graduation have fulfilled the requirements prescribed for completion of their degree programs as established by Salish Kootenai College Board of Directors and in compliance with accreditation through the Northwest Commission of Colleges and Universities. These candidates are entitled to be admitted to the rank, privileges, and responsibilities of their respective degree programs. Graduates, please change your tassels from the left side to the right side of your cap. I now present to you the class of 2022-23. And for our closing prayer, we'll have Marquise Askin from the Kootenai Language Apprentice Program. Kisi kiki apinaske, ko kaklik lahan na tirkat, ko kaki kaki upawis konok. I'm honored here today to give you guys a closing prayer. Kanta hunur. I want to have the Creator bless you guys, live a long, happy life. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 Salish Kootenai College graduates.